Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and welcome to uh, my first impressions and unboxing of the Amazon Fire Phone. I wasn't expecting to get this today, I actually wasn't expecting to get this period, but Amazon was kind enough to send this to me, so thank you very much. And uh, here is my first look at the Fire Phone from uh, Amazon. <music> So taking a look at the Fire Phone, um, as you can see the packaging here says Fire with dynamic perspective um, is one of the features that the Fire Phone has. Uh, the packaging is very simple, small, and I do like the packaging here that Amazon has put forward. You can see as it kind of reflects off the light, it says Fire with dy dynamic perspective. It's got this kind of like grooved uh, paneling that smooths out as you get towards the top here. Um, Amazon on the side of the back shows you the device. Um, Firefly, dynamic, dynamic perspective, Dolby um, audio, 32 gigabyte version. They, it comes either 32 or 64 with two gigs of RAM. Shows you the device here. So this device was already set up for us uh, by Amazon. Uh, now you can get it only exclusively at AT&T. So uh, it's only ex exclusive to AT&T customers. And uh, set the sleeve aside there. Let's put that there, open this up. And uh, here is the Fire Phone. So let's, uh, let's take that out for a second. And we'll check out the box content to put the Fire Phone right there. So we can still see it. So you've got some nice little uh, packaging material here. Uh, get to know your Fire Phone, it shows you everything where it is, power button, camera, um, SIM card tray, home button, different languages. Nice little card thingies. Um, pull this out here. This reveals, what do we have here? What do we have here? Cables, so our micro USB cables. I actually don't need that. I wish I didn't actually pull that out just because I did like the way they packaged that, so I am going to put it back in. Ah, there we go, did it. And uh, over here on this side, what do we have? Can I take this out? Maybe not, maybe I can open this up. So you do have your Amazon plugin, wall plugin there. And um, you also have some headphones, which are nice that Amazon provides you headphones. Um, interesting. They are lay flat cable headphones. So let's take these out. Let's see, you can see they've got that magnetic lock. So they lock in and they, they're a little angler, which is cool. It's nice. So those are the headphones. Um, and um, that's it. I don't need the headphones now. I need all that stuff. So I'm actually going to take all this other stuff away. Uh, put that aside. Let's take a better look at our Fire Phone right here. It's on our stand. So that is the Fire Phone. Retails for $199 with a two-year contract. So if you are on AT&T with a two-year contract, you can definitely pick up this device. Um, they've done a lot of cool things with it. From the very get-go, when you look at this device, at the very front of this device, you can see a plethora of cameras. Um, if I can bring this closer here so you guys can see got one camera there one camera there another camera at the bottom of the camera so you've got five cameras in front and that's a front facing camera two megapixels um, the rear of the device you can see the Amazon logo pretty big 30 megapixel shooter with OIS um, and then you've got your flash it's got that very um, almost glass like finish at the back so you can see the already is a scuff right there um, so we've got a very standard build 4.7 inches it's got a home button here, and now you do have your SIM card tray. You've got your camera button, your volume, a uh, power button, your volume rocker, camera button, and your volume rocker, and then that's the power button on the very top of the device. So let's go ahead and power that up. It says Amazon when you power the device up. I'm gonna bring this a little closer, and we'll go through some of the steps and and, and settings. Now this is running, you know, Firefly, uh, the OS, the own customized version of Android. Nice startup sequence, pretty cool intro um, altogether. Um, one of the things I will say about the device is that it's very black <laughs> um, in a sense that it, it just got, it's got this whole black look and feel to it, which is, you know, um, to some degrees it's nice. I do like the, the silver lettering of Amazon there um, at the back of the device. And you can see we're already in our device. So right now there's a pinball um, for my 
probably my lock screen and you can see how it actually still navigates and moves so first thing with dynamic perspective is you can see as i tilt it to one end another it brings up uh different options all right let's take a look at our uh, amazon fire phone and some of the things you find in the operating system here so you've got your carousel at the very top right here and that of course is your most recently used applications as you used it the newest one of course in the front towards the left at the bottom here you have your tray of um, i guess you could say um, standard um, uh, action tray you find with the most android devices your phone and even ios uh, messaging email and your silk browser now if you want to get to your applications you just swipe from the bottom up and that gives you basically your app tray or at least the applications you have on your device or you can switch to cloud. And since I've synced to my Amazon account, these are the other applications I have on the cloud. And um, I can go from cloud to device, uh, basically we download the applications I've, I've had before. Now, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can see the app tray is very basic. Um, not sure if I can do a uh, custom background just because that spray background to me is just kind of annoying. Now, the other thing too with this is if you swipe from the right, once you're on your home screen, um, that brings up also a list of different aspects of the device. So you've got your, oops. So you've got your apps, your games, web, music, video, photos, newsstand, auto books, shop, and prime. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention is that when you get the Fire Phone for $199, you get one year of Amazon Prime. So that's why it's really featured there and uh, as something that, you know, kind of makes it worth it being a $99 phone instead of uh, a phone that is just a uh, hundred bucks. Now, again, I showed this earlier, you've got some of that, those features. So instead of me tapping to see what all these icons are. If I tilt it to the right, it gives me information on every different thing. So it says apps, new paid apps, videos, watch 200,000 movies and TV episodes, shops, prime, free, two-day shipping and more. So it's got that, you know, dynamic perspective to give you different aspects of it. Even with, even with the applications here, you can see the Rubik's Cube there moves around. Um, it's, if it's got some of those features. So even if you look at the application here, Saber, Saber's Edge, if I tilt it to the right a little bit, sorry, uh, you can see uh, four stars and tells me what that, what that info, uh, which of course could be placed there, but it's just something that they've done differently altogether. So um, it's an inter interesting touch. We'll see how it is as it pertains to different things like maps and, and things like that. I know a lot of people have talked about it working in, uh, in maps in different areas of mapping location um so i'm exactly sure but you can, oh there we go so you can see that there so i wanted to show you guys quickly how it views and works uh pretty interesting let's see if i can get to street level for for some of these maps but um that's pretty much that there um you've also got the firefly feature which is you know this button right here that allows you to basically do some quick shopping on Amazon. So if I tap that, that actually access the Firefly. And if I basically go, already it's picked up, of course, Amazon Fire Phone. It's pretty easy. So let's try a couple of devices. All right, so the Bird Dynamic works. Let's try the Martian again. Uh, that didn't work. Let's try LG smartphone here. All right, there you go. So um, it does capture certain images on the packaging to actually match to other things. So for instance, that didn't work. Let's see if this, some of this will work. So Martian, I guess, is giving it a hard time here. But out of uh, four things, it actually picked up three, which is pretty good, not too bad. I think in general, I think this, this works pretty well overall. You can do it for music, to listen to music. You know, also do it for TV shows. So that's something, it's nice. And it can show you your previous devices, the uh, previous devices you've searched for. So uh, we'll spend some time with this device. Now, uh, I forgot to mention some of the specs. Of course, it's got a Snapdragon 800 processor in here and two gigs of RAM. And uh, this thing is, of course, Amazon's new pride and joy. So we'll spend some time with the Amazon Fire phone and see how well this thing handles. And uh, we'll give you a full review. So don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. And also do subscribe to the channel. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.